Hello, 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 it's Emma at Coaching Rockstars and I just want to talk a little bit about digital products and what you need to be thinking about as you bring together the entirety of a digital product, an online programme, whatever you want to call it, however you want to bring it um, to life. There is, you know, some things that you need to think about. The most important one is your end users. And I know that we all hear lots said about user experience and the fact that, you know, Facebook particularly are really, really, really aligned to making sure that they continue to enhance user experience. And you've got to think about your end users when you bring together a product or program, because what is important is that you don't bring together a product or program that is um, overwhelming, that is too much information, that is... Um, brought together with modality that doesn't suit your crowd so that it ends up rubbing and buffering up. So how do you do that? You know, for me, I make sure that I look at lots of different methods of delivery. Um, you get videos, you get workbooks, you get cheat sheets, you know, lots of um, different little downloads and things like that that I have in my programs. Um, also, there's audios available in my programs because I know that my crowd like um, to look at things in, in many different ways. You know, I've got some clients who absolutely love to read the information. I've got some clients who just want to tune in and get some information on the go. So it's about looking at how you can um, really help and support your crowd through the methods of delivery. So, you, you know, the most underused one um, that I find really popular is audio because people can listen to audio on the go. People can tune in on the school run, on the dog walk, on uh, the gym, wherever they want to. You know, lots of people who, who are busy, which is the majority of us, find audio a really great means of being able to access and consume information. When you look at overwhelm, you know, a lot of the time when people start out bringing together digital products or programs, they go straight into um, kind of proving their worth and putting everything that they know about a subject in there. And we all get really excited and, you know, we all want to deliver and over deliver in our programs. But it's also important that you remember not to overwhelm your crowd. You know, if they look at your digital product or program and go, so much in there, I don't even know where to start, I don't even know how to start actioning it, and it completely overwhelms them, then actually it's not going to get the very best results for you. So think about how you can make your program bite-sized. So I deliver lots and lots of training in short periods of time. There's very few um, one-hour webinars that I do anymore. They're all you know easy to consume, quick to consume, something that you can get your hands on, get the outcome, the learning point, and go and implement it. So I'm very um, mindful of the fact that my crowd are busy, they want a certain bit of information, they want to be able to go away and implement it. So I'm very much um, looking at making sure that that's the way that I do it. I also look at being able to help guide them through um, with email sequences that go with a product. So, you know, being able to help them to see what their next step is and to be able to guide them through what they need to be doing. I also, you know, have implementation plans so that it's not just about learning, it's about taking action. And if that's relevant to what you do, then look at the ways that you can incorporate that into your business. Look at the modality of how you're delivering. So it might be written, it might be audio, it might be video, um, it might be workbook based, it might be cheat sheet based. So I've got, you know, some things that are just really easy to print out, grab and use, you know, and, um, you know, how to make good decisions. So I've got a few of them just sat on my desk that people can just print out, they can use, they can get an end result. I've got some things that you need to listen to, you need to go through the principles, we need to work out how it would work for you. So think about the modality and how you can um, deliver the content. Think about keeping it to a bite-sized kind of approach so that your crowd can jump in, they can take what they need at any given time and get on and do that thing that you teach. Think about how you can help them to um, to work through the program. So that might be autoresponder sequences, that might be within a Facebook group. But think about the fact that you know your end user, you ultimately want them to use your online product or program so that they get the results so that they can rave about how fab you are. So make sure that you keep that in mind, that it's not to overwhelm them, it's not to be confusing to them. 
and you need to be able to bring together that programme that really hits the mark for them.